Hey there, good morning. I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation. And today on Habitat Hints, we're talking the monarch migration. Uh, we're talking all things monarch, and I'm really, really grateful to have here with me MDC's Jason Jensen. He's going to tell us all we would need to know and would like to know about monarchs and the migration and and milkweeds and all so much, so much stuff about monarchs. And we're going to talk with him right now. Let me turn this around and we'll get things started. All right, thanks, Lucas, and welcome to another edition of Habitat Hints. And so we are out here. It's uh, it's September in Missouri, and so that makes us start thinking about monarch migration. And so we are out here. We we do we are fortunate enough to have a, a monarch caterpillar on this common milkweed today. And so we are going to talk a little about monarch butterflies. Um, they are a very unique um, insect in this world. And so this is actually one of the one of the most unique stories I think that we have in the world um, as far as monarch butterflies. And so monarch butterflies overwinter in central Mexico. Um, and then that first generation will migrate north in the spring, usually around March, mid-March is when they start moving um, into North Texas, into the southern states where they'll have their first generation of, of uh, new uh, monarch butterflies. So they'll lay eggs on milkweed. Uh, monarch caterpillars feed only on milkweed species, but fortunately we have about 18 different uh, milkweed species just in Missouri alone. So there is a variety of different host milkweed species that we have present here. Um, and then the second and third generations will continue their way north uh, into the breeding grounds through Missouri, up through the, the lake states, even up into southern Canada. And then as the weather starts to cool down, as the days start to get shorter, as milkweed uh, starts to starts to taper off in the fall, as fa and and nectar plants start to to to, to get fewer, mm -hmm. that triggers something in those milkweeds. So that fourth generation of monarch butterflies mm -hmm. then migrate south, and so they actually instead of focusing on reproduction, now they're focused on. Uh, migration and so they'll they'll migrate uh, somewhere around 2,000 miles back down through the state of Missouri back to central Mexico where they'll overwinter and start the whole process over again. That's really interesting so you're talking a little monarch butterfly flying from possibly up near Canada all the way back to central America down, down to Mexico maybe and yeah wow that that's crazy to even fathom a little little insect like that making that journey. All yeah, the way it's back. A, a really remarkable story. And so the reason that we're concerned about monarch butterflies, we've actually seen an 80% decline in monarch butterflies since the 90s. And so people ask, well, why is that? Well, there's a variety of different reasons. Everyone always wants to know what the silver bullet is. Rarely is there ever a silver bullet. It's probably uh, a variety of different uh, reasons, you know, one being habit habitat degradation. Mm -hmm. That might be in Mexico where they overwinter. That could be here in the U.S. Uh, due to a uh, reduced number of, of milkweeds and pollinator or, or uh, pollinating plants, uh, mm -hmm. nectar producing plants, things like that. So there's a variety of different reasons uh, for, for those. And so we are focused on helping to improve habitat for monarch butterflies. And there's a variety of different things that, that you can do to do that. And it doesn't matter whether you have 100 acres or whether you have 100 square feet in your backyard, there are things that you can do to improve habitat uh, for monarch butterflies and other pollinators as well. Uh, for example, um, you can plant milkweed. Um, this is a common milkweed, but there, like I said, there's a variety of different milkweed species that we have here in Missouri. Um, like something like 18 different species. Butterfly milkweed is a wonderful uh, milkweed that produces great nectar for, for bees, for uh, butterflies, and is a host plant, again, for the monarch butterfly. So that's a great one. You know, green milkweed, purple milkweed is one that blooms earlier in the year, is more of kind of a, a woodland type species. Um, so there's a variety of different milkweed species that you can plant. And that's really what we would recommend is, is planting a, a variety rather than a single species. Um, where can you learn more about that and where can you purchase and get milkweed plants to do that if you want to help for the next migration? Yeah, so that's a great <laughs> question. So 
One of the best resources out there is the Grow Native Resource Guide. So the Grow Native is actually a program that's administered by the Missouri Prairie Foundation. Every year they produce a Grow Native Resource Guide and within that guide they have a listing of native plant sales that occur throughout the for throughout the state. Mm -hmm. um, there's there's uh, some native plant sales happening in Missouri this weekend, this coming weekend, and all through September. So those are great places that you can go to to purchase plants that would be beneficial to butterflies. Uh, Grow Native has actually even developed a, a plant tag <clears throat> uh, specifically for monarch butterflies. So if you look for those plant tags specific to, to monarchs, uh, that's a good indication that that's a plant that's going to be utilized by monarchs. So obviously host plants are milkweeds, but the other thing that, that monarch butterflies really need is they need nectar sources. And so to make a 2,000 mile journey, they have to have energy to do mm -hmm. that. And so that's in the form of nectar from uh, blooming plants. And so it doesn't matter, you know, so really what we recommend is a variety of different uh, nectar producing plants throughout the year. So they need blooming uh, native plants as they migrate through in the spring and as they produce uh, lay eggs and, and reproduce throughout the summer and then especially as they continue their journey south when they migrate back in the fall. Um, so it's a little bit early yet here and the, the drought, we don't have a tremendous number of uh, good nectar producing plants, blooming plants available to us right now. We've got some ashy sunflower, we've got some stiff uh, sunflower. Um, we had, uh, I saw a little bit of uh, partridge pea that was still blooming. There's a little bit of purple coneflower blooming. It's a little bit too early yet for the goldenrods. They're just starting to turn. Mm -hmm. um, but some of the other really great uh, later fall blooming plants, you know, New England aster, aromatic aster, you know, your goldenrod species are all really good uh, nectar producing plants that, that uh, these monarch butterflies will really utilize as they continue their journey uh, migrating back to central Mexico. And where can you get more information or learn more about the monarch migration uh, from? Uh, yeah, there's a variety of different sources. Uh, of course, the Department of Conservation is a tremendous resource. Uh, so you can go to our website, type into the search box, uh, monarch butterflies. Um, we've got a number of different publications out there that are available as well, you know, on, on things like uh, developing your own butterfly gardens. Um, you know, we've got one that's been developed specifically, uh, milkweeds and monarchs. Um, and then of course the Grow Native Resource Guide. Again, that's a, a great resource, has some planting designs in it. Um, if you go to the Grow Native website, um, they have uh, some really good planting designs for uh, gardens, native plant gardens and things like that. So there's a lot of different resources that are available out there to uh, assist homeowners and landowners um, with helping to promote uh, monarch butterfly habitat on their property. All right, we appreciate it. Thank you very much, Jason. And thanks for tuning in. And also, I'm gonna just echo what he said, you know, monarch migration is starting and to prepare for next year. And if you wanna find plants or learn more about monarch migration, go to our website at mdc.mo.gov or go by one of your uh, nature centers around the state or regional offices and you can pick up some of those uh, brochures and magazines uh, that he showed and you can get more information on monarchs. Thanks and have a great rest of the day.